Today we're going to show you how to tell if your uh, Dana 35 rear axle in your Jeep may be reaching the end of its usable life. So having a couple problems that led up to this. Um, it's driving up a hill one day and lost power uh, to the rear wheels. Tires ended up locking up and then uh, they freed up again but I still had no power. And, uh, the, uh, I was able to put it in four wheel drive and move it. And, uh, I pulled the diff cover to see if we could find anything. And, uh, See, everything looks pretty good in here. Um, this says the, the uh, rare, uh, it's actually a factory uh, option, I think. That's uh, a two-piece carrier inside the diff. So basically it allows both rear wheels to spin uh, totally free of each other, which uh, I think actually helps increase your gas mileage. So that's pretty good. Um, now when you have the two-piece carrier, uh, there are a lot of parts that uh, normal carriers have that you won't actually need, so I think, you know, in case you wanted to ever switch to a regular one-piece carrier, uh, the uh, the factory, they put all the uh, pieces in the bottom of the diff cover so that uh, you can switch at some point if you needed to. So you can see we got the pin, a couple spider gears down there, and uh, probably a few pieces to bridge the gaps. But, um, so the way you can tell if your, your uh, carrier or your uh, diff is starting to go out so when the two-piece starts getting jagged edges like that, then uh, it's, that pretty much tells you right there that you don't have a whole lot of life left in it. Um, no, you might want to start looking for a new one. So that's just a quick tip for today. Hopefully that's uh, helpful to some of you. Um, others, maybe not, but uh, yeah. Um, always good to pull off your diff cover and uh, inspect every once in a while. No, you never know what you'll find.